about a year ago, I made a couple videos where I watched and analyzed the most magical cartoon series ever, Moomin Valley. And since then, the official Moomin's YouTube channel has been uploading the 90s cartoon series onto YouTube for free, and just recently they uploaded the very last episode, number 78, and now I've watched it all. Moomin Valley is a really unique show. You get feelings from watching this that you don't get with anything else. Whereas most of the media today is all about either bombastic action, maximum wittiness, or just wacky characters, you won't hardly find any of that in Moomin Valley. Mama? Yes, Papa? Do you, do you think I should grow a beard? No, Papa. What you get instead is really mellow fantasy in characters that are not wacky or witty hardly at all. just like Tarzan. And yet, it's really refreshing. In fact, the easiest way to put it is that most media is insanely high energy, probably an attempt to keep, you know, our monkey brain viewers engaged. I know I'm guilty of that, trying that on YouTube and making bombastic, explosive, high energy videos. But there's something to be said about those relaxing ones too. Because Moomin Valley does the opposite of what we usually see, and it's the most relaxing thing ever. In this world, there is no jobs, there is no stress, there is no society, hardly at all. It is just complete bliss. Characters just going about having their lives. Well, if we only had more crime here, they wouldn't be able to close down the station. Yes, but there's never any crime in Moomin Valley. Unless we commit some, I guess. What? Don't get me wrong though, there's problems in each episode, like any other series, but the problems tend to be more whimsical and lighthearted than ever life-threatening and all dangerous. <laughs> What's the matter, Papa? Oh, my nose itches. And as I watched all 78 episodes, there was a few things that really stood out to me. Feelings I don't think you could get anywhere else. Most of the time in cartoons, time is timeless. Characters never grow or change, but in Moomins, they take it even a step further. They do time and they do seasons as well. Because these characters really live in the world, the seasons change and they're tied to it. But we'll get wet! I know, but it's so exciting! Huh? Things which you have no control over. You can see this great big storm coming towards you, and you can't do anything about it. And that's something I've overlooked as I've been making my own comic series. I'm over 100 pages in, and if you asked me what season it was, I wouldn't be able to tell you. But now I realize that something as simple as that can really cement your characters in the world that they live in. But to take it even a step further, in Moomin Valley, the creatures there, including the Moomins, hibernate every year after the first snow, when the whole valley just gets completely covered in a white paradise bliss. And this is a really unique thing for the show and for the characters because they live life completely different. It's really cool how with each episodic season, we see the seasons change and the characters go through it and we see them notice that winter is coming and then a few episodes later they're hibernating and then boom. It's just so cozy. It's just something that I've never really thought about. What would it be like to hibernate every year? because humans, we just don't do that. We learn that bears hibernate in third grade, and that's about it. We never actually contemplate it. And in Moomin Valley, you get to contemplate it on a whole new level. What do you do with these pine needles? That's what we always eat before we hibernate. Nobody knows why. But there's also something else that ties into the cycle of Moomin Valley and hibernation, and that's Snufkin, Moomin's best friend, who always leaves. So long then, Moomin, my friend. I'll see you again next year. The first day of spring. He leaves every winter on a solo journey just to be alone and adventure the world. And always, Moomin thinks that he won't return when spring comes, but Snufkin does always come back. And that's because every character in Moomin Valley is really nice and kind, but it's done in a way that's really tasteful, surprisingly. What it does is it reminds you of what it was like being a kid. Before you knew that everything was actually negative and you became cynical and jaded, where a time that was simpler and you thought everybody was nice and kind, 
Moomin Valley just captures some sort of innocence that I think most people forget about. You might be starting to think that it's starting to sound boring, and even if that was the case, I would argue that that's part of what makes this so good. Cartoons, shows, and movies always seem to have the most bombastic characters filled to the brim with personality quips and one-liners that it's just finally nice to see a show that has the people in it that actually seem like they do in real life, which just happens to be boring most of the time. And that fact is even more charming once you realize that everyone in Moomin Valley really loves everyone. It's not like the real world where you gotta be super entertaining, interesting, and what's up guys, ready for YouTube, let's do this. No. In moments, even if you're the most boring person in the world, everybody will still love you. There's no pressure at all in Moomin Valley, and that's why I'm pressuring you to go watch it. It's free anyways, so why not? And now that I'm done with the series, I'm thinking about slowly collecting the books by the original author. If you want me to make more videos about Moomins, let me know in the comments below. I'll be making more videos here on the channel more frequently, usually about either cartoons or comics. Those are my favorite things in the world, and I make comics and I make cartoons sometimes, so it makes sense. I'll see you next time. And lastly, it would be a crime if I didn't tell you about my Patreon rewards because there is a ton. I do so much. I make way more content than I post publicly. I make podcasts, exclusive videos, devlogs about my comic series, everything. Most everything is on the Patreon. So if you want to see more content from me, just go to patreon.com slash frostdrive and I'll see you there.